Hello everybody, Zhivko here and in this time lapse I'm going to do a basic narration and I'm going to talk a little bit about Art Rage. So for this painting or session I've been using Art Rage 3.5 and it was really fun to make and uh, it was something very different from my usual painting. So Art Rage is very, um, how to say it, it's natural media emulation software. So with ArtRage you can paint in a very realistic way because it was made to emulate natural media and you can actually see different kinds of interaction between the different kind of media like oil and pencil. So let's talk about uh, what I'm doing. So I'm painting uh, sci-fi thumbnails in a manner of uh, one of my favorite sci-fi painters. His name is John Harris and you can find his work on Google, you know, try a little bit. It, you won't regret it, you won't. He's one of my all-time favorite painters and one of my big inspirations. With these uh, four or five thumbnails I'll be painting in this tutorial, I will try to evoke uh, a similar atmosphere like he's doing. So this first one is, I don't know even what it is, I started just uh, noodling around and it's, uh, it's reminding me of a huge upright spaceship. Uh, the, the few tools I'm using in ArtRage for this are oil paint with a dry brush setting, it's very good dry brush setting is awesome for painting and everlasting oil which is a great preset that leaves awesome awesome impasto marks and I'm using wax actually art rage has excellent wax features and they really work you have a feeling that you're working with actual like wax pencils and they mix really well so I'm doing that mostly, mixed together with oil paintings. Ah, oh, with oil paintings, no, with oil uh, brushes. So I'm trying to combine those two and I'm using the knife tool to blend the colors as I see fit. Uh, the shortcut for the knife tool is K and in presets and settings you can find all different uh, kinds of knives. They have a watercolor knife, they have like a one edge one edge knife, you see one sharp edge, the other is very smooth. You have a smudge knife, all different kinds of knives. So I encourage you to try and explore stuff with ArtRage. You can see in this painting I'm just painting over stuff and I'm doing all different kinds of strokes and I'm doing a lot of undo and uh, testing around the tools and how they interact. Right now I'm using the pencil and undoing. Yeah, the pencil is actually good to just make your beginning strokes. And then you can just smooth it with the blending markers. Also, yeah, blending markers are also very well. Uh, and you can smooth it with the knife tool. I often use blending markers too, uh, because they, uh, they work well when you have something painted already. You just have to select marker and change the preset to blending markers. see what am I doing now. Yeah, I'm just noodling around. I should maybe make the video uh, a little bit faster or something like this. Or I will just cut off my talking and I will let you, I will let you enjoy, <laughs> hopefully, I will let you hopefully enjoy uh, what I'm talking about, uh, what I'm talking about now. I will let you enjoy uh, the sketching process and I will I will probably just uh, talk about stuff when I'm doing it. Yeah, there is a space kitty here and space trash. I mean the space tree, not space trash because it reminded me of uh, space tree, space tree, space tree, space tree, space tree, space tree. Let's continue this narration. 
What am I doing right now? I'm just noodling around in the background and adding, adding some kind of a construction. I, I'm basically improvising. I'm not really sure what to do here. And I'm making mists and skies and uh, trying to get some space here and adding some shadows to these extrusions because these extrusions give the, the shadows give us a good sense of space in our image. Yeah, I tend to do a lot of that. I can get a custom run, a random intrusion, extrusion I mean. The, I get a extrusion and cast a shadow of the, the extrusion. And now I'm going to start with another sketch and I'm starting this one with the wax because it's most closest to pastels uh, in which John Harris mostly does makes his sketches. So you can see a lot of John Harris's sketches are involved with pen uh, pencils. Yeah, mostly pencils, pastels and a little bit of uh, a little bit of uh, probably acrylic or something like that. But I mostly enjoy his pastel sketches and they they're really enjoyable and traditional looking. I'm trying to get that feeling on this second one. I'm getting a blue, uh, a bit over, oversaturated uh, blue sky, and uh, this construction here, which is which is made to be like purplish on the shadow side. Yeah, because I uh, you see a lot of purple or pink. What is this? This is pink in some of his sketches and. It's very interesting color, it's very stylized for uh, elements that are in shadow and you can contrast the lights really well because you see here the lights are yellow so yellow and yellow and uh, purple make really good uh, make a really good team together and I left the clouds white I will probably add a light light grey with the pencil and the smudge but I left them white because I'm looking at it and in a traditional traditional sense. Yeah, you can notice me stuttering a lot in this narration because this is not scripted. I'm looking at my video and I'm trying to see what I'm doing here. So yeah, I'm noodling around with the clouds and drawing the shadow side of the clouds and making it very very slightly darker than the, um, than the white. The lower clouds they are they tend to be lighter and less saturated than the bottom side of the sky I mean. So the, as you go lower on your sky you will notice that the color is oftentimes less uh, saturated and lighter than the sky color up up top and you can see I'm noodling with the pencil just doing random shapes to see what can I get and I do a lot of undo and I like to scribble around and then just use the knife tool shortcut K. I use the knife tool to smear the pencils around. And I pick the colors a lot also. Yeah, I pick the colors all the time. The color picker is set to uh, Alt. So I'm noodling around with this spaceship and yeah I, I did it on a separate layer so I, I can transform everything and make it and place it where I think it's better. I'm also thinking about, is this shape really good? I'm not really, nah, not liking the shape and trying to uh, fix it, but I think I will end up deleting everything and make it like a tower or something like that. Because this shape is right now is not working, it's fat and a bit weird, so. I will probably, I'm trying to fix it with some contour lines. 
so you can see the perspective. But yeah, I think uh, I am about to fix that. Yeah, I'm trying another version, so let's try making this like a huge tower and we're looking at it from below and yeah I try a lot of different versions and I do a, a lot of undo as you know this probably and I'm sampling this yellow to see to make it like lights and to show perspective with the lights bending around the shape and combining this yellow with darker pink shadows like the shadows of some extrusions you can see that a lot in John Harris's paintings and I think it's a very very good thing okay let's let's start on the next one so I, I decided to make this one uh, Start this one just with just with random pencil scribbles. Make a nebula in the background and some spaceship in the foreground. And I'm going to take some interesting color and start with it. I will change it with the art rages the color. How to say it? It's like a color balance menu or something like that. Uh, I will change it, but I, I tend to start with some interesting colors to see what can I get. Yeah, I'm sorry for not noticing, but my camera was uh, covering a lot of the... My camera was uh, covering the portion of the drawing. So yeah, I'm combining some colors that go nice together, like teal and purple, blue, yellow. It's a very tried and true space combination, you know, yellow and purple and blue. It always works nice. Yeah, and I'm going to uh, I'm going to paint this uh, nebula in the background. It's like a wispy nebula that uh, has kind of a more motion blur, and it's it's behind this spaceship thing I'm doing. Yeah, I'm also uh, using the wax mostly and I'm using the blending markers and the everlasting oil preset for the oil brush. One weird thing about Artrage is that your brush is not B, your brush shortcut is O for the oil painting. So I sometimes I, I forget that and I have to press undo. And yeah, uh, I'm doing, I'm using airbrush here, I'm using pencil to try and build up the atmosphere here. Picking my colors all the time and uh, adjusting them down in the lower right corner. I like outrageous color picker, it's really good. Yeah, and this, I decided that I need to be, to get a little bit darker with the dark colors. So I select the color and just slide down to get slightly darker and more saturated color. Shadows tend to be more saturated. It's oftentimes. It depends on the color of the light. Out here the light is very cold and I decide to make my shadows a little bit warmer. Even though you can't see it really well. So I'm building up the shape and seeing what I what what would what I do with the spaceship, and I will probably change it a million times. Probably change it a million times before I'm finished. And after I change the colors, I will also change it. That's the joy of doing these thumbnails. It's very freeing and it's very interesting. Okay, and I'm now trying to make some smaller ships to emphasize the size of this big one. I will I don't know if I will keep that, but I like to add some smaller details. You can see I'm adding like small spaceships in the background or comets or whatever and smearing them because why the hell not? I'm using the K the knife tool 
to smudge everything. I like the way that the, the various tools interact with each other. And now I decided to make these like exhaust pipes. And yeah, I'm using the wax tool, I think. And uh, I'm using the wax tool itself as a blender because it works really well as a blender. And now I'm adjusting layer colors and this menu is one of my favorites. You can really get interesting effects uh, and interesting colors and I decided to keep this one because this looks awesome. So I will need to fix a few things but I think uh, when your image works in one kind of color you can safely change the color and it will work uh, really well anyway because you need a good foundation for the image to work well. So I'm using the uh, wax tool to mix my colors a little bit because it really does a great job of mixing the colors together when you press lightly. You have to try Artrage. I think the, the mobile phone version is like very cheap and it really works almost exactly as the normal version. I got my art rage with my Samsung Note 4 phone and I'm really enjoying it on my mobile phone. It has a few limitations but it's nothing big. So I think I'm going to do the next picture and for the next picture I decided to do a widescreen one because you know, obvious reasons. So start with uh, my wax tool and noodling around and combining, making a little bit of background. Uh, color. I will change it a bit probably with the color adjust and I'm making a star field and random um, nebula like shapes with the wax tool and the, the knife tool and adding yellow with this blue to contrast it. I'm making an explosion so I'm adding from yellow to orange to red to brown so I'm making like all these stages of an explosion and in the middle I will probably add a little bit of complementary blue to make my explosion seems like uh, it's very hot. You will notice probably. I will select the color and I will move it toward the blue right, right now and saturate the colors a little bit. So you get a feeling like, uh, like that's, that's very hot inside. It's a very good trick to make something look very hot because the complementary color gives you the effects of like eye pain. <laughs> you know what I'm thinking. So you're still noodling around with dry brush. I like this dry brush. It's really very close to something you really get with a brush stroke. And that's one strong side of Art Rage. Yeah, I moved my settings page behind the camera. I did not realize that. I should have kept my settings and presets page somewhere where you can see that where I'm changing my presets. So I'll, let's see what I'm doing. I'm chatting a little bit with my Twitch pals and painting this like spaceship or something that it's exploding. I added a smaller explosions to set the scale of the thing. And I'm mixing the colors a little bit, making the part of the spaceship that goes in the background. I'm make, mixing a little bit of background color behind it. Uh, I'm mixing in with the background color, I mean, sorry. Yeah, this is the paints of non, no scripting of my videos. Okay, I think I'm very near uh, finishing this one too, actually. Or not. So yeah, I'm still using the wax tool and uh, the knife tool to either mix the colors or just spread it a little bit. Even though the wax uh, 
tool itself can really do excellent color smudging work. Yeah, I'm trying to add another uh, spaceship and some pew 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 some like uh, effects and everything to show the scale because I like to make some like lasers that I they're they're going towards you and they're getting bigger as they go as they go and getting smaller as they go away from you to uh, try and uh, show distance and scale. I do it in a lot of spacey, spacey illustrations, and it's really fun too. You have lasers. So I'm still smudging and doing dry brush, wax, and knife tool a lot. Those are my favorite tools when working in art rage. You can see. I'm making these explosions the same way as the... Uh, I mean, I'm making these rays, lasers, like I made my explosion. I take the yellow and I add some blue complementary or near complementary uh, colors so it looks like it's hot. Or it just has this feel that, that it's uh, very energetic and warm and powerful. And I'm adding some details here in the background of the background ship. Yes, I also want to keep it with a lot less contrast so it doesn't bother anything. So it, it's there. It just needs to be uh, with a lot of less contrast and a lot of more atmosphere color mixed in. Artrage does something well that's mixing colors. The mixing colors in Artrage is really, really extraordinarily good. And I'm adding some small spaceships here. Like small rays and small pew 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 to make this a battle scene or something like that. And also I'm adding some darker forms in the explosion to make it more interesting. Maybe those are some parts of the spaceship that got blown up or something like that. Yeah, because explosions can be complicated. I, I did not do any... Uh, photo bashing and this painting. I don't do all photo bashing in Artrage, I'm not sure if one can do it even. I prefer to do like completely traditional looking sketches with Artrage. And you can see in this uh, blue ship thing, you can see the extrusions and you can see the shadows of the extrusions that I used to somehow signify, uh, somehow signify a light direction and that there is a shape there that's, that the pylon or gun or whatever this is, is attached to. And I think now I'm just on my third picture, the top left, the uh, top right. I'm noodling around with some colors and I'm saturating in more and I'm just going crazy with the color because this is a thumbnail and you can relax and later you can just resize it and work on it some more. I think I cut out a part of the video because I didn't want to make it too long. Okay, let's adjust the colors of this. 
I use the hue slider a lot. <laughs> the hue slider really gives you awesome, uh, awesome colors sometimes. This is not really a big change. I like the colors that I came up with, but I adjust the brightness and contrast a little bit. It's really useful tool. And some more explosions. Yeah, you can see the intensity of the explosion is really much better now. And I'm trying around some rays and some... You can see the laser that's as it, it, it comes closer to us. It's uh, bigger. So it gives you the, the space. And now I'm up back again on my top right image and I'm adding some color dodge, I think. I'm not sure. I'm adding some small details here and there. I think I needed a little bit of stronger highlights here on the spaceship and in the background and unfortunately I covered it with my camera. Next time I will check. And yeah, you can become a patron. You can support me on Patreon for nice rewards. It will help keep me going. Ah, I can't even read. Okay, so this last segment I think I just dedicated to fixing this first image a bit and adding a bit more details. So I'm back on the top left on the space kitties on the space tree image. And I'm currently using the I was using <laughs> the compact mode, which is awesome. Artrash is a compact mode, I forgot its name. So yeah, I've decided to add something array of kinds in the background to um, just get another direction going because everything is very upright and it's not too dynamic so I decided to add few more things to keep everything much more dynamic I think the, I'm still thinking about what to do with it so is it a trail or is it a ray or is it something like a nebula or whatever. So I will just improvise and see what I like. So I'm using the pencil I think even. Yeah, I skipped it here a little bit so because it was like a little bit boring. Uh, because I was noodling some small little details that were really unnecessary. I mean it would be a little bit boring to watch. Add a little bit of stars and added a few extra rays in the background, you can see it. And now I'm using the knife and the wax a lot to smooth everything a little bit up and mix the colors, colors a little bit and increase the saturation in a few parts because I want it to be a little more, more vibrant. And you can see I pick my colors, colors really... <laughs> I pick my colors uh, really often. I like to use this alt, 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 alt. I'm all the, all the time I'm changing the colors, and in this, for this way of painting, it really works well. And I decided to add a spaceship. It's flying towards our station. Now it's a space tree station. I'm using the dry brush, I think, and the wax tool also. Yeah, for these exhausts, you can see I'm using the wax tool. And for some concrete colors, I'm using the pencil and the dry brush oil preset. I was not planning for a spaceship, so right now I'm noodling around and seeing what kind of spaceship can I do? Does it have like one engine, two engines, four engines? Is it a... a like X-Wing or is it some random design? I go for random design because I always go with uh, randomish designs. I'm trying to make it a little bit more visible and separate it a little bit more from the background 
by adding red that it's in the background. Good work, Zhivko. You should paint it like neon blue or something like that because there is a lot of red and a lot of uh, a lot of yellow and a lot of uh, this greenish gray that I used to paint the body. Yeah, flip the image to just to see that this doesn't work and I will erase this rays probably because I don't like them or not let's see I often just paint 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 and decide to erase and erase it and that's it that's called killing your darlings yep I erased it I mean undo it I'm trying I'm trying but I'm not really sure I think these ones will work these look now if, when I'm looking at it these look much better. I didn't use any perspective tools, I didn't use any grids or anything, I, just, I was just eyeing it and using uh, my own common sense to try and get something. You can see it, it, the ship introduced a lot of dynamic to the image, so it, it has one perspective, this Three Space Kitty Station has this uh, its own perspective, its own place in space, and these rays in the background has, have a tilt that's very interesting. Yeah, I'm, I'm still in the workbench mode. I think it's called now. I transferred into the workbench mode, which is really great for tablets and for even for desktops. I use ArtRage on my Wacom Companion. It really works well. For $50 or $40, I don't know the price, it's really, really a good program. Uh, and what I'm doing in the image, I'm adding some smoky thingies. And saving this, because I did not save. I think I'm done, actually. Yeah, I'm painting a space kitty for Sunny Bunny, one of my friends and patrons and early supporters. It's a space fart kitty. Houston, we have a problem. Oops. Houston, we have a problem. Alright, I think this is done. And thank you everybody for watching. Uh, I hope this narration wasn't too confusing and too uh, random with a lot of ums and uhs and awkward pauses so you can support me on patreon you can follow me on twitch on facebook on artstation you can find all the links below in the description of the video i will get back to you with another video very soon narrated or not this is kind of actually some quite a nice amount of work doing this so we're in the last 30 seconds uh, thank you for watching and Subscribe to my channel and have a nice day. Houston, we have a problem.